First fight with Holloway, yeah, it was a big one, you know. Max Holloway being a champion for a while and, you know, a lot of hype around him and I was just a, a newcomer. I said going into that fight that we hadn't figured out and we're going to give him a lot of trouble in there and that's exactly uh, what happened. I mean, this Volkanovski is a fantastic fighter, man. Oh, man. You know, it was a nice competitive fight, but we showed that we were just a step ahead. The Volkanovski era is officially underway. This is the best of the best. You gotta evolve with the sport or you get left behind. So the second one, I had to change and we did. I hit him with some good shots, dropped him a bunch of times. He's picking his shots, walking him down. Oh, oh man, he's down again. He's hurting Volkanovski with frequency. He definitely came with a, a new game plan that caught us by surprise, which was a credit to him and his team. The third round, uh, we knew that we had to step it up and uh, we knew we needed the next dude. So mid-fight, I had to just completely change my style to counter his adjustment. The determination of Volkanovski has really turned up the pressure in the second half of this fight. Numbers very close across the board. So we uh, obviously went out there and uh, did our thing. I thought I did enough. The owner of the company thought I did enough. The world thought I did enough. But the three judges sitting octagon side went the other way. It is what it is, you know? It stinged a little, but we back here for the third and uh, y'all in for a treat. It's a big fight for both of us, but especially for him. You, know, you lose three times against the champ, you know, all of a sudden, go conversations and things like that. That all goes away. There are two guys on the featherweight Mount Rushmore, Jose Aldo and Max Holloway. And he has beaten both of them and he beat Max twice. I'm going to keep proving myself as the best featherweight of all time. He's one of the most impressive champions in the history of the sport. All he wants to do is seek and destroy and to break men. You know, I'm a whole different beast. You know, I'm a, I've evolved so much. And they ain't taking that belt away from me and my family. They ain't taking that belt away from Australia. Oh my goodness! Unbelievable! Enter the top ranked former champion, future Hall of Famer. A lot of people have been sleeping on me, you know. You have a couple good fights, you don't get a finish. People forget who you are, you know, so at the end of the day, I get to remind them who Bless is. Max Holloway showing them level. Holy smoke. I'm the best boxer you see, baby. You may hit numbers, but you ain't hitting them numbers on me. I am going to put hands on his chin. I can uh, promise you that, and I'm going to put it on his chin regularly. And uh, if his chin still holds up after all the damage he's copped over the years, credit to him. But if there's going to be a time that it doesn't, I think it's this time. I'm definitely a lot sharper. I'm capitalising on opportunities a lot better than I did before. That'll do it! Oh, no. 21 in a row for Alexander the Great. I know if I touch him, I can make him fall. So give plans to go over there, touch him in his chin a bunch of times, and uh, let's see how much times he can get back up. So much on the line. Legacy, money, championship belts. So I can just tell you this now that I am not accepting defeat and my hand's going to be raised. Come July 2nd, I'm planning to take his head off. I'm going to prove that I'm a better man and I'm going to really put an end to this. And still, baby! I'm going to go out there July 2nd, have my way, do my fight, look for the finish in every single possible way and I'm going to have the time of my life while doing it.